What's up, Peak Timers? Today we're gonna unbox and get a close up look at 10 premium Hot Wheels, including a Hot Wheels Boulevard set and a Fast and Furious set. Let's get unboxing. And we'll start it off with this bone shaker from the Hot Wheels Boulevard set, car number one. And this is a really neat looking bone shaker. And there's all the cars that are included on the back, which we're gonna open up today anyways. So let's get started and open up this bone shaker right here. And this one is fantastic looking as you can see it's got a matte finish paint job on there with the chrome interior on there check out all the flame artwork on there on the side especially it's very realistic looking flame work on the side of it we've got the real rider tires on there, metal base so it's a very very good high quality car and car number two from this set is the Nissan Skyline GTR BCN R33 as you can see right there it's a very nice looking silver color with that cool looking artwork on there let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a nice look at it and as you can see right here it's kind of like a glossy silver look and these wheels just look fantastic they're like the perfect wheel that Hot Wheels has made and they work really well with all of the JDM imports and the skyline and all that and check out the detail from the front end we've got some nice artwork on the hood right there as well and then just on the back it kind of follows right through there and then on the very back end you can see it's got the little nismo symbol right on there there's that big exhaust tip on there and then those circle tail lights and let's go right around and see that front end again gorgeous looking nissan skyline and car number three from this set is the Volkswagen T1 panel bus. And this one is very, very heavy. It's got some good weight to it. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. It's the Magnus Walker sponsored one as well. And we'll take this one out right here and lots to look at on this one. So first it's got the Outlaw right on the side. It's got a little 277, the T1 right there. There's the Outlaw sign on there and the Magnus Walker. And check out the checkers on the top of it that's so cool i really really like that look on there and then it's got like the nice light blue that kind of meshes right around all the way to the back and there's a little bit of writing and stuff on the back of it as well and then we've got the full metal base the red base right there and it's just a very very heavy casting but i like that i like the quality feel of it real rider tires of course and car number four is the 1967 Chevrolet Camaro and a cool looking color on there. It's like a sparkly flake paint job on there. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a nice close look at it there. And this one, it looks like the hood opens up on it, but let's go ahead and look at the car first and wow. I just like these like thick looking tires on there and the wheel combination looks fantastic. And especially that sparkly paint job on there looks really, really good. We've got the striper along the front with the looks like the little Camaro logo just up there. And let's go ahead and see what the open hood looks like. And boom, there it is right there. Okay, so we got the engine inside of there. It's kind of some cool detail. You can see even a little bit of the paint overspray there, but that almost looks kind of cool. I kind of like that because it almost looks like a, like a factory look for these old muscle cars. And there it is from the side with that all opened up on there with those thick rear tires and from the back, some nice detail on there as well. A really, really cool. I love this 1967 Chevrolet Camaro. And car number five from this Boulevard set is the 1983 Chevy Silverado 4x4. And there it is just sitting right there. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a nice look at this one. This one also very, very heavy. It's got some good weight to it. And wow, look at these thick real rider tires on there. It's a nice raised up. You can see those axles just down below. Nice looking blue color, a very nice light blue with the white trim on the side of it. Good detail for the little Chevy logo and all that stuff just right down there. And from the front, it's, it's got like a push bar on the front end right there. And on the back, you can see it's got the Chevrolet logo right there. Just a cool looking good car. And it's like just the weight, the quality of this one is just absolutely fantastic. And car number one of five from our Fast and Furious set. This is the Motor City Muscle set. And we've got the Ford F-150 SVT Lightning, one of the highlight cars from this set. Check it out. This is what Paul Walker drove in the first Fast and Furious 
when he was just kind of getting around town. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and we can see some nice details on this one right here. And there it is. You can see just the cool looking writing and stuff on the side. I can't remember exactly what it says. It's very hard to see exactly what it says, but we can see the little lightning logo on there. It's got some nice thick real rider tires on their metal base all on the bottom, very glossy. You can see the Ford logo, the SVT logo just right there on the back of it as well. And from the front end, very nice. I like the stamped Tampa works for the headlights. Even it's got the little fog lights down there, a nice looking grill with the Ford symbol. This is a very nicely detailed car and it's definitely deserving to be in the premium line. And car number two from this set is the 1972 Ford Gran Torino Sport. It's a really cool looking sparkly green color. Nice artwork on there. Let's go ahead and take this one open and get a nice look at it here. And as you can see, just look at it shine in my lights. Very, very speckled flame paint job on there. And you can see the nice big striping on the side as well. And these wheels, these are cool looking wheels. They actually do fit the car very well. They're staggered. So we've got the big ones in the back, the small ones in the front right there. And we'll move around to the front end. You can see some great details detail on the front chrome grille and all of that. And moving along to the back, you can see the headlights on the back right there as well. Chrome interior, very, very shiny and all around neat little muscle car. And car number three of five from this set is the 1987 Buick Grand National GNX. This is my personal favorite from this set. I really like the Grand Nationals and the GNXs. Very cool looking cars from the late 80s. Let's go ahead and open this one up right here. And there we go. We have the Buick Grand National. What I really like is they kept the fully blacked out kind of raw look to this one which we saw and I think it was the fourth movie that they had this car at the beginning when it kind of went underneath the truck and it was just a really really cool scene but check out the detail from the front it just looks absolutely fantastic like the Grand Nationals in real life love the grill like the headlights even got the little Grand National logo right there and then for the GNX it's got a little bit more flared fenders on there which the regular Grand National didn't have and we can see that just for this one right here as well. We've got the lip on the back spoiler and then we've got the little Grand National GNX logo just on the back right there and we can see those nice lights and everything just on the back. A really, really cool car. Like I said, this is my favorite car from this Fast and Furious set. Love the Buick Grand National GNX. Next up is the 1966 Chevy Nova, number four of five from this set. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and get that look at it here and this one it looks to be like a goldish color it's like a metallic goldish color and it does look like it's lowered and it's got some nice custom wheels on there those are definitely not a stock look but it is all customized out with that lowered look on there and the speckled paint job and you can see the nice white on the back and we go around to the front and you can see that big grill on there and this just looks like a fast loud muscle car Last but not least, we've got the 1961 Chevy Impala, and this one's in red, and this one is also lowered and customized out. Let's go ahead and open this one up right here. And as you can see, it's a nice glossy red look to it with that big white stripe down the side. It goes smaller in the front, goes all the way big to the rear. We've got some big, thick real rider tires on the back right there, all metal base, of course. And check it out, that's the classic Impala look from the back. You can see that kind of line that comes down. We've got the six lights on the back of it as well, and a little spot for the license plate. And then from the front end, we've got the Chevy Chevrolet right written on the hood, nice touch right there. We got the Impala logo on the front and the double headlights on each side of it. The Chevy Impala, really cool looking car. Let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite set of these two that we unboxed and your favorite single car out of all the ones that I showed you today. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye.